take a look at this MOSFET. I want to see if it's going to work for my application. I happen to have this one, and I want to run a 3 amp load at 24 volts, and I want to do it with a, a gate voltage of uh, 5 volts. Okay, so we'll take a look at this. this. This IR, that's just international rectifier. The L is logic level, and that means that it will run at 5 volts. If this were an F, that would be their standard unit, and it would you would take uh, 10, uh, 10 volts on the gate to turn it on fully. This 5, that's a voltage indicator. That just means that it's a 100 volt unit. And 4 is a die size. And a 0, that's the voltage uh, resistance on indicator. That's just their, uh, their prime product number there. And N is next generation. And this just means that it's lead free. Now, on the spec sheet, they give you a little chart up here to start with. And so we'll take a look at that. So the drain to source voltage is 100 volts, and they don't want you to exceed 100 volts on that, but most people will uh, derate that by about 70%. So let's keep that down to below 70 volts if you're going to use that. I wouldn't put it at 100 volts. I'm at 24 volts, so we're good with that. This on resistance is 0 0.044 ohms. That's the resistance that I'm going to have between the, the uh, drain and the, uh, and the source when it's on. Now, but that's if I put 10 volts on the gate. If I put 5 volts on the gate like I want to do, it's going to be at 0.053 ohms, okay? And so we're going to use that to determine our uh, our wattage. And if the voltage drops down to 4 volts, it's going to be at 0.063 ohms. So our, our wattage will go up. So now let's take a look at this, this uh, drain. 33 amps, they say, uh, the current on the drain here. Well, that's at 25 degrees centigrade that's room temperature that's never going to happen unless you can dissipate all the heat away from this unit so uh, you know we're not going to get to 33 amps and that's at uh, if we had 10 volts on the gate here now with 10 volts on the gate at 100 degrees centigrade it's going to be uh, they derate that down to 26 amps okay now we want to see if our logic level actually started and so we take a look at our, our VGS here uh, gate to source here, and that should be uh, uh, it'll actually start to conduct at 1 to 2 volts, and 5 volts is going to turn it on fully, or is going to turn it on to where the resistance is going to be at uh, 0 0.053 uh, ohms between the, the drain and the source here. So, now what you want to take away from this is that in order to turn it off, you want to be below the volt here because it's going to start to conduct at a volt. If you leave a volt on there, you're going to have some current flowing through the from the drain to the source. So to turn it on, we're going to do 5 volts, and I'm going to go below 1 volt to turn it off. Now, the uh, VGS, the gate uh, source voltage, that can be up to 16 volts. So if you wanted to, you could turn it on with 10 volts or, or even 12 volts if you want. Now, let's see what, what wattage. I, I said I want to go with 3 amps. We're going to see what kind of wattage we have here. So... Uh, to find your wattage, you know, the power is equal to the resistance times the current squared. So now our, our resistance is going to be uh, 0 0.053 because I'm using 5 volts times our 3 amps that I want to use. So that's going to be 9 times that. And it comes out to 0 0.477 watts, about half a watt. Okay. Now, to find our temperature, what we want to do is we want to look at this uh, junction to ambient temperature here. So for each watt of power, the junction temperature is going to rise 62 degrees above ambient, okay? The 62 is in, it's in uh, uh, centigrade per watt, okay? So at 62, so if we take our point, uh, you know, our half a watt times our 62, it's going to be uh, 30 degrees. We add that to our, our ambient there, so it's going to rise up to uh, 55 degrees centigrade, okay? Now, the operating junction temperature is can go up to 175 degrees centigrade so we're well below that you know within the spec so that that's going to work out fine okay i'll probably add a little heat sink but probably don't even have to do that so but now what happens if i want to go up to 10 amps well 10 amps comes out to 5 watts times our 62 that's going to be 328 uh, degrees centigrade above uh, ambient so it's going to be at 383 uh, three degrees celsius or centigrade and uh, way over our junction temperature here so we need to uh, dissipate all that heat out of there so we're going to have to put some heat sinks on there try to dissipate all that 
that heat away from the the unit there so but for my 24 volts at, at 3 amps uh, this unit's going to work out just fine now they make other units I think it's an R IRL um, Z44 and the uh, the resist on resistances I think it's 0 0.022 ohms and they even make better units than that so this unit isn't uh, you know isn't the best unit for uh, dissipating the heat there but um, it's what I've got and at three three amps it's gonna work fine uh, you know we're never gonna get up to 33 amps so so anyway that's uh, that's uh, just a quick way to check out a MOSFET and uh, this one's gonna work fine for me thank you